Making a tap maker's conical reamer. In my previous video I made a tap the hard way by grinding the stopcock into the tap's body. This time I want to talk about tool use and tool making. Before we go to the shop let's have a look at the tools the tap makers used. The Hausbücher of the Zwölf Brüder Stiftung and Christoph Weigel's Ständebuch show the tool I'm interested in. Unfortunately however none of these images show the business end of the tool. So all I can do is to assume how the tool might have worked. To this end let's recap what we do know. First, there were at least two different tool makes in use. Second, at least one type was used by tap makers on the finished objects. And this is the one I'm going to remake. I'm assuming the following. The tool was obviously not used for grinding, because in that case you could have used the stopcock hoe successfully. Therefore, it must have been used for cutting or reaming, that is, with a positive or negative rake angle. In two images the tool has the same color as the taps, so it is reasonable to assume the tool was made from the same material. A piece of tool steel is used as a working blade. In this first attempt I am trying a negative rake angle. Here you are seeing tests made with a machined prototype to check if my ideas are working. And I couldn't be more pleased. So let's go and make a more authentic one. A handle is attached to the cone and wax. How the cone is made you can see in this film. After the whole model is invested in the low mode it is placed near a fire. From this end the metal will be poured. Wax melts, leaves cavity, mold is fired, metal is cast. You know the drill. If not, watch my other videos. I used brass for pouring the tool. Zinc content is about 30%. After casting the cone is cleaned up and prepared for use. First by filing, later by grinding. Okay, this is getting way too slow. Now the cutting tool is inserted. For the time being and until I can come up with a better solution the blade is held in place by two bronze wedges. This works reasonably well but there is definitely room for improvement. Sad thing that grub screws weren't around in the 15th century. Yes, that's right, that's a broken one.
The reconstructed tool works like a charm, and I think I can save hours by reaming the cones instead of grinding them. Now, if only I had a similar tool for the stopcocks. Well, that's it for today. I do hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly did making it. As always, please consider to comment, like, share or subscribe. It certainly pushes me to make further videos.